today we are participating in yet another draft league called the UPA. It's the ultimate. Uh, I actually forgot. Just a second. Holy shit! Ultimate United Pokemon Alliance. My bad. The United Pokemon Alliance. I know my stuff. Uh, but yeah, we're doing a draft. We had. It was pretty fun. We had. Uh, we had. For some reason, though, we had like. <laughs> We had 20 coaches, uh, and I'll be very real. Uh, 20 coaches is a lot for like uh, a draft league, certainly on the Switch, because you have only like a limited amount of Pokemon. So to me, this was just like, oh dang, is is like I I signed up, I signed up, but like I myself afterwards was like, wait, did I did I not read there were like 20 coaches? And that shit fucked me up because like um, we had like points and everything. We worked with the draft league side. Never worked with that before, so that was like an experience for me. But honestly, um, it was kind of yeah, it was an experience, you know. Like uh, <clears throat> so, a lot of people went for like the high tier Pokemon, of course, which makes sense. While I was just going for like lower tier ones because I was like, oh yeah, I'll get to the high tiers later. But like. After three rounds, I noticed that there were was a lot being drafted and well a lot of high tiers. I'm like, how do people have enough points for these? And then only afterwards I realized like, oh damn. Uh shit, I, I might have fucked up. Uh <laughs> you know, like it's just <laughs> it was just funny to me. It was just something so stupid, but yeah. So today we're actually just gonna talk about my draft. Uh, it's quite easy. We're not gonna go too much in detail because honestly, why would we? Uh, it's just a draft league. I don't think it's that interesting to watch, but uh, I feel it's always good to have like extra content, you know? And today I'm gonna be talking about the things that I've drafted. The first thing uh, like that I drafted as well was Bishop. Now, uh, I'm drawing these from memory, so I don't quite remember Bisharp. I do know like he has like uh, sharp thingy with bobs. So like you guys are seeing something entirely different than me, probably in the uh, like in the bottom right. You will probably see what I've drafted and stuff. But for now, I will be drawing them like this because I think it's more entertaining this way. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I've never actually participated in an actual like YouTube draft league since these people are actually YouTubers and all that and I'm actually pretty excited for that like it's a new experience kind of upset there's like 20 people it's gonna be 12 weeks it's gonna be a long time you know like uh, it's gonna take a long while as well to uh, finish this league but yeah let's talk about a pool so very quickly, we drafted uh, Bisharp. Bisharp, why Bisharp? Bisharp was only 10 points. It was pretty low. And honestly, I like Bisharp. Bisharp is always one of those Pokemon. It just can't win games if it wants to, you know? It's just super solid. No complaints there. Knockoff, always a great tool to have. Uh, it having the fine as well, making sure that sticky web users uh, are careful of it. And like priority sucker punch plus, uh, yeah, plus like very just, the find is very good. Like he has sword stands as well. It's just one of those mods that can be super duper scary when you allow it to be. And I think uh, like no pursuit sucks for it, but honestly, uh, I feel like it can still work out fine. I'm drawing this in real time as well. So I might be cutting like some audio and stuff, but like I'm drawing as fast as I can actually. <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful Bisharp, you know, like, this is my boy. But yeah, Bisharp is a great Pokemon. Not the fastest, but it is what it is. And I liked it. Uh, and so we draw for Bisharp. Next up the list, we have like a good dark steel typing. We were thinking, how do we cover that? One of the Slow Kings would be very nice. And the Slow King that we went for was uh, Slow... Uh, well, the Slow... <laughs> well, the Slow Pokemon that we went for was Slow King. Well, quite easily, it's one of my favorite Pokemon. I love the slow king, the, like the slow line. It's just super fun, and I'm so happy that they're really good again as well. Because like in X and Y, you they were really good as well. But like now, well, they were good before, but like they're now extra good thanks to heavy duty boots and regenerator. 
It's just one of those things that just makes them so much better, you know? And Slow King is very nice because, uh, as I said, Regenerator Heavy Duty Boots is uh, on its own very nice. But then you also got stuff like uh, Teleport, which is a minus priority switching out move, which is very great to have because, for example, we are in a position where Slow King can wall something and you know they're gonna switch out. You teleport out, you go away, and they, uh, and then, uh, they switch to Pokemon, you teleport. So that means they switch first, you teleport, so you can switch to something that could beat whatever they have that they switched in, which I think is actually really great. But yeah, I think like Slow King is very nice, very good. Like it has coverage as well. Like you got Flamethrower, you got Skull, Ice Beam, Future Sight, making sure uh, things have to watch out when they switch in. And it's just very nice, reliable Pokemon that I'm actually looking very forward to, to using in this league. So yeah, that's it. That's your boy, Little Slope. Next up, this is the round where I realized we were 20 people and I was like, ho oh, dang, I need to draft some Pokemon real quick. Cause I got, uh, cause suddenly like, we already made plans like every round what we wanted to draw. And uh, this is where we really got like a uh, hand at the back end because I wasn't prepared well enough by knowing we were going to be with a lot of people, you know. Uh, I generally don't remember how this one looks again. But we were playing, we drafted Kyurem. Kyurem is very nice. Uh, the thing about Kyurem is like now that it can be physical as well because you can run Dragon Nest, Icicle Spear, for example, is nice. But the other thing that's also nice is just freeze dry earthquake, which covers so much, which is very nice. Uh, it is also very bulky, so you can like outstall like uh, things. Oh, I gotta move the drawing for a bit. Uh, where you can like stall out like Toxapex or other stuff with like substitute roost because it's got pressure as well. Uh, I really don't remember the wings, it's like ice wings or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is very hard. But uh, honestly, Kyurem is a great Pokemon because like it only has like a few things uh, that it has, but like those things being really good because like Freeze Dry is such a free move to hit on so many opponents as well. And sometimes bringing like a physical variant of Kyurem, it can be detrimental to someone's team, you know? Or just substall, like that's not why. Uh, stuff like that can really beat some teams sometimes, like sub Roost, Toxic, for example. Uh, like, it's stally, but like, it is, if if it's your Wincon, it's your Wincon, am I right? Honestly, you gotta learn sometime. And, uh, how would this ice look like? I never know how to draw ice that well, so I just gotta make it blue, because, um, <laughs> cause ice is blue, I guess. <laughs> It is, this is like the roughest draw of drawings that I'm doing right now. But yeah, Kyurem is nice and I'm happy that I drafted it. Kyurem, Slooking and Bisharp. I really forgot how to spell Kyurem for a second, so I don't want to talk about that. Next up, we drafted uh, a bird, which is Moltres. Moltres is just very nice. I just want, like Moltres is one of those Pokemons that I really wanted. Because now with heavy duty boots and everything, it's so good. It is so much fun to have a Moltres, you know? Moltres has always been, like, one of those Pokemon that I really liked. Like, I, I always liked it in Fire Red and stuff. Because, like, it was so cool. And for some reason, it was so hard to catch for me. Like, it was always one of the hardest to catch for me. I don't know why. It was just, it, it was just like that, you know? Sometimes it just be like that. And, like, ah. Uh, I'm so happy that it's so good because now with flame body as well it's like a decent check to a lot of fighting types or like uh trying to get flame body off on people and uh of having like the strongest hurricane in the region has always been like a meme but like with heavy duty boots it has really shown its potential of being like a decent pokemon because like you always had your charizards for example but charizard had the mega and uh, you have Talonflame with Priority Breaver, but now it's finally Moltres' time to shine. I'm so excited for that. Uh, Moltres is a good defogger, gets Scorching Sands, defog, like, it gets U-turn as well, and, like, it's just solid. Like, 
how can you not like this bird? Like, Articuno has... Like, I'm not happy that Articuno got better as well. But, like, I really love Moltres. Moltres has always been, you know, kind of... That's my bit. You know, that, that's my bird right there. Yeah, yeah that's my bird. <laughs> Honestly. It's just great. I'm happy for it. U-turn, roost, stalling, pressure. You can do a lot with it. And I'm very excited to play a little with my Moltres. Next up, we were, we were thinking of drafting a steel type. And honestly, what we went with is very nice. Uh, we just went Steelix. Uh, Steelix being one of those Pokemon that like, always was like, a lot of times was, is underused, I feel. Um, because like Steelix is always gets underestimated. Because it has nice defense, uh, decent attack, but it's not the best, uh, so to see. Then you had Steelix Mega, which was uh, funny as well, with like Sam Fours and stuff. Like, I love that. But now you got Steelix, and I really wanted to use Steelix because I wanted a, a, a fun Steel type and uh, a good Ground type as well. Like, this is able to walk Cuckoo for some reason. <laughs> well, you got Grass Knot and stuff, but like, you know, you get the gist of it. Like, it can do stuff. Uh, but like I like Steelix, Steelix, Stealth Rock, Body Press, Earthquake. Like it has all the needs of a physical Pokemon, you know? Like it's got the coverage. It might not have the speed, but like you don't always need the speedy mons, man. Sometimes taking it nice and slow, forcing out your opponents to go into stuff is always nice to have. And yeah, that's Steelix. I should probably mention as well, uh, I realize now I'm this far in the video, that I should see that my, I have two captains who are like, well, two people who are helping me with the draft and everything, which being Quint and be crazy. They're amazing people and uh, I like them. <laughs> They're more like my best friends. So uh, I'm happy that they are willing to help me with this draft league. Because honestly, I just want to do like decent. I just want to make fun sets as well. Because like my goal is not to win. With this like i feel like draft leagues are always nice for competitive to like introduce people to the competitive but the other thing is it should introduce people like it should still be fun like you don't have to take it always that seriously like i'm definitely definitely gonna run some meme sets and i'm sorry if you want me to be hardcore but i'm not gonna be that this season i used to do that and it's not always as satisfying. Sometimes you just want to run something funny and uh, hope it works. And that makes me so happy. Uh, yeah, I should actually be talking about this Pokemon as well, uh, which was e very easy to draw, I must say. <laughs> it's a uh, Tangela. Tangela, we wanted Tangroof for a long while. Well, we wanted just a grass type. And they were all being taken, so it was kind of rough uh, or so to see. So we just went Tangela, because Tangela still has knockoff. Uh, still has like a few decent tools to be sure that your opponent has to deal with it because like its physical bulk uh, is also pretty great with the Vila, but you gotta watch out for getting knocked off but like Tangela is fun you know it's just one of those fun Pokemon it's just cute it's like a cute little spaghetti monster you know? there we go Tangela Ta -da! I realize we're halfway through, but we are already, ooh, well, 14 minutes ahead. So for those people that don't interested in these kind of videos, that's completely fine. That's why I wanted to add this, like kind of that I can still draw, you know, it's just fun. All right, next Pokemon is very hard for me to draw because I am, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. Uh, huh, huh. So the next Pokemon that we drafted is Galarian Zapdos. Like uh, we didn't have a lot of Pokemon left anymore. We wanted Keldeo originally, I remember that, uh, but Keldeo wasn't available anymore, so we had to go. Uh, we wanted a strong Pokemon being able to flip turn or like U-turn, and we went with Zapdos. And Zapdos, I think Zapdos is a very cool Pokemon. Zapdos uh, has like, fu it's fun. It's just fun. I love Zapdos. It has very strong legs for some reason like i'm gonna make i'm gonna make his legs muscly for some reason <laughs> like that's what his legs should sh look like you know <laughs> oh my god he's got some strong legs 
<laughs> Look at him. Ah, oh, the calves. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Zapdos is great. Good, uh, good offensive Pokemon gets U-turn, gets close combat, uh, brief bird, throat chop. Like it ha can hit still a lot of stuff, which makes it very useful and very nice pick for me. Cause uh, having momentum is always nice, and being able to threaten uh, Pokemon as well with like a fast U-turn or a fast brief bird, or just being able to just make sure that you do a lot of damage, even with like a bandit version. And also this having the fine as well is always great. People try to like party shot or anything. Like I can show them why they shouldn't do that. My team is really like, oh, you, you tried to intimidate us? Well, guess what? Your life is over. <laughs> it's just that, honestly. All right, strong legs. Wow, my, this, is, this might be my best drawing yet, actually. Like honestly. <laughs> Alright, when you look at our team, you can see that we don't have that many fast Pokemon. Well, we had like uh, an idea for this and we were gonna draft Sticky Webs. Now, Sticky Webs is always something that's very... How do I say this? Like the most Pokemon that get it, you always will know they will... Like if someone brings it, you know they will bring Sticky Webs, you know? And, but we went and drafted the... Oh, I forgot its name. I generally forgot its name. Orbeetle, that's the name. All right, Orbeetle, I feel like Orbeetle is such a cool design. Like, actually, like, look at this. Like, all right, maybe not my drawing, but like, look at the uh, actual draw, like how he actually looks. Like, how can you see it doesn't look cool or rat as hell, you know? Uh, but yeah, Orbeetle is one of those Pokemon that is very, well, it's one of the new Pokemons, but it gets sticky web. It's one of those that you know is gonna run, uh, have sticky web. And something is a can like a problem against that is like default because like uh, uh, or rapid spin, you can do that, which uh, makes it so that Orbital doesn't really have can do its function to put up stick quests. The other thing that Orbital can do is put up screens, and it's decently fast. Being able to have like fast screens is actually very good for me because like for example, I put up screens, put up sticky webs, pawn switches in the Pokemon I can. Defog, I have Bishop and I have Zapdos to potentially switch in to make sure that they are not able to de get a Defog unpunished, you know? Like, I will hella punish them uh, with that. Uh, making sure that every time they want to get rid of my screens or my def or my sticky webs, that they will get, that we they will get punished for it, you know? Like they will get more damage. Like I will get damage out of. Uh, in the end, I'm trying to me to win that exchange. You know. You no, know, I. You can recognize him here. I feel it's pretty fine. It's not the worst. All right, we're almost at the end now. Uh, next Pokemon is just because I wanted to draw it my uh, draft it myself because I really like it. I just like the Pokemon. That's really it. If you can already tell. Uh, what Pokemon it is, uh, congrats to you, because honestly, I don't, I don't, uh, I just like him. I, like, I, I've always liked it uh, when it's got its Mega, for example, Mega Diancy. Like, Mega Diancy was always super sick to me. Like, I liked it so much. It's one of those Pokemon where Magic Bounce was just so much fun as well, where people almost always forgot he had that and like that <laughs> made my day it's just very funny and like it's pretty funny as well it's a giant rock lady <laughs> fucking with a dress on what more do you want no but like uh dancy is uh, just a solid pokemon uh and fairy type as well which was kind of needed as well uh, fairy types are always one of the typings that you want to have in your draft i feel and yeah, we went with Diancy because Diancy has a lot of potential because like you can do Trick Room, for example, Trick Room, Body Press, Diamond Storm. You can do Rock Polish, which is also not a bad set, which helps with the Sticky Webs as well. Clear Body, just being able to nullify, intimidate, parting shots, stuff like that is also, oh no, wait, that's not pink, is it? Yeah, I feel like that's green. Uh, but as you like, as you hear me talking, like you can hear that I really like Diancy. <laughs> Like it just, I just like it. It's just one of those Pokemon that is just nice to have, and I'm happy. I'm happy that I can uh, play with Diancy as well. 
So yeah, look forward to Diancy. <sighs> okay, next Pokemon, we were fully on memeing about here. Like, we not fully memeing, but like, we really think this Pokemon has a lot of potential, certainly in draft, you know? Like, uh, this Pokemon has gone under the radar for a long time because, let's be honest, its evolution that has gotten Gen 4 was not maybe the greatest. Uh, like, it is a bulky version, but like, Electivire actually is pretty nice, I feel. Uh, being like uh, just electric type, which is alright, but like it's a physical, ver uh, physical electric type, but uh, it's just having wall charge as his strongest physical move sucks a little bit. Cause like, let's be honest, uh, f like all the special moves are always like stronger and without um, what's the word? I I like there's no bad thing about it, you know? Like you could just spam. Uh, Fucking Thunderbolt, but Thunder Punch is so much weaker, and you have to like watch out uh, what you're doing with uh, th Thunder Punch, because like Rocky Helmet, for example, or Intimidate. You know, it's always been one of those things. But Electivire is nice, because like instead of like Flame Thrower, uh, in instead of Fire Punch, I wanted to see it gets like Flame Thrower, which is very nice, because uh, like you can still try and break some stuff with Electivire. It get it gets like nice coverage. I just wish, I really wish it was just better. Because honestly, I think its design is pretty sick. It's like one of the first. Cause like uh, after Gen three happened, uh, I didn't know like I didn't follow news about Pokemon. Like I'm a kid, you know, like fucking internet was that. But like when the new Pokemon set was released, like I saw the Pokemon cards and there I saw it like I was like. Oh, he's so badass. Like the Pokemon card was just so cool. And I had to have that. And when I finally got it in one of my packs, I was so excited. It like, that was like actually Christmas for me. Uh, it wasn't actually Christmas. It was like in the middle of the summer, but you know. Uh, but yeah, it was like, it's a nice Pokemon. I like Electivire. He's fun. <coughs> Then because of rap, uh, because we playing with webs uh, as well, we want to try and avoid getting our rocks removed. Now, how do you do this? How do you remove your, oh, well, not your rocks, your webs. Well, that's quite easy. It's rapid spin or defog. Those are the main two options that you can do if you want to get rid of something. Now, easily said, we do manage to have some uh, fun Pokemon already but now we drafted Golurk as well Golurk is one of those pokemon that i really never i don't know i never vibed with it you know sometimes you just have a pokemon and you're like oh yeah that's cool whatever like uh but Golurk as always like well when i found out that he could fly uh, use fly in gen 5 that shit was pretty funny i'm not gonna lie but like Golurk was always like very underwhelming for me but i feel like we can make it shine here because uh, honestly I feel like our team is pretty solid and making sure that some Pokemon can show off their skills here is detrimental but yeah rapid spin is a normal type move that means if they want to rapid spin they uh, gotta try and do it without me having a ghost type and me of course having here uh, a ghost type being Golurk is very nice for coverage you know like making sure they can't uh, rapid spin so my sticky webs stay on so all my Pokemon stay faster, etc., uh, etc. Et yeah, Golurk is like a physical mom. You can do rock polish stuff from what I've seen uh, with it, but like no guard dynamic punch, like making sure p things will get confused. It's just very fun. It's just one of those Pokemon that if it comes in, it can do a lot of damage, which is nice. Then last but not least, we got our final Pokemon. We went for a high tier pick. And honestly, I, the design of this Pokemon is pretty simple. Uh, I I just remember like what how to do this. It's Azumarill. Azumarill has always one, been one of those Pokemon that is ugh, very threatening. Like Aqua Jet, Priority Aqua Jet has been scary, but it's because of huge power as well. Huge power being such uh, like so important, you know. 
Uh, God, this design is really simple, actually. Like, I think I'm already almost done. But yeah, having Aqua Jet is very nice and just huge power. Like, it's so strong. It is a strong bunny. Like, what else is there to see? What else do you want? It go like it Aqua Jet's uh, anything. It can belly drum, giving it a plus six attack, making sure it will destroy everything on its path, you know? And I feel like that is just a very solid Pokemon uh, because of that. Like, Azumarill is, well, Pika Blue, you know? It's just Pika Blue. <laughs> well, looking at our team, I really wanted uh, a, wa a water type, well, another water type. Because, like, having two water types is never bad. Because water types are a very just strong Pokemon, you know? Like, uh, bulky water is always good to switch in. And we can run Sap Sipper just to make sure it's just to have some fun as well. To make sure that we wall something. Uh, it could be fun. And I really like Azumarill. It gets knockoff, super powered, liquidation. It's also a fairy type for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, but like, it fits it. You know, you know fairy. Eh. There we go, a little ribbon. <laughs> but yeah, that's the team. I'm going to give you guys a full round down in a sec. Alrighty, that's the team. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I will be uploading the videos as well. I'm not gonna make team builders, I feel. I do. If you are interested in team builders, let me know. I will post them. But if you're really not a big fan of just watching team builders, I'm not gonna put in that much effort into explaining everything. I'd rather show everything on the battle then, and then you guys can decide yourself, uh, like see what sets I brought, and then see for yourself why we brought it. All right, that's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day, bye.